Hey guys, uh, here we are on the 13th floor at Peebles Golf Club and what we're going to talk about is the knee movement in the golf swing. So let's focus on this left knee throughout the golf swing. Um, there's a few questions related to this. Um, why people sort of reverse pivot and why people sway on the back swing. But anyway, I'm going to reassure you the correct sort of movement of the left knee and how I interpret it. So we're going to talk about the left knee. Um, people have sort of been in the, the same scenario over the last few years as they, they create a little bit of resistance in the left knee and it's good for people that are very hyper mobile, they're very flexible and very supple. It's not so good for the older generation or the guys that lack flexibility. So let's think about this as a bad idea in my, in my opinion. I'm not saying that you shouldn't try it but you should, you should try it if you want to sort of improve your ball striking. But anyway, let's talk about as we take club back and our left knee resists. We don't, I don't feel like I create a lot of load on that right right leg or the correct weight transfer on that right leg. And as I come down, my weight transfer isn't really instinctive. So if we can get the correct weight transfer, um, sort of starting in the correct weight, the, starting from scratch, sorry. So if we can get a weight movement to the right, then we'll, our weight transfer will be more instinctive. So. Another thing that I was going to talk about, so at the start of the, the backswing, from down the line, we create a little bit of resistance in that left leg, and I should feel the weight in this this right leg, right hip, right thigh, all the way down. So as I come back down, I should feel the pressure, and as I turn out the way, so my left hip should move out the way, so my right leg should basically transfer that weight correctly, so it gives easy access into the left leg. So, when we wind up, so as we take club back, what I mean by wind up is on the backswing. So as we wind up, we want to create a little bit of resistance. But what if what what if you notice a lot of people that don't create a lot of resistance, their left knee kind of stays static, and that's where they get that reverse pivot. So they're not hurry to hit the ball. So they hit, try and hit the ball too hard, and then they, they transfer their weight and their knee goes forward. Their weight goes out, outside their right foot, and as they come back down, their weight's on the downswing. It's on the right foot. So we want to sort of reduce that, we want to get get rid of that, so as we come back, we want to create a little bit of resistance, but feel like our left knee goes across inside our left foot, so our left knee moves across, right foot tucks, right knee tucks in, but not so much, make sure that it's in line with your toe, so, or you don't want to go over your toe, and as you take the club back, it should move inside the, the left foot, and, I, and feel like our left foot is basically rolling over so we feel a little bit of pressure off the ground so from there a lot of people that reverse pivot their foot will collapse in the way or people who sway their left their toe will come off the ground because they're not they don't have that flexibility sort of to maintain that but anyway what we need to do is when we take the club back we need to feel like we're starting with the low so we take the club back left knee moves in feel like we're starting down with our left hip so if you like, we're starting down with our left hip. So let's focus on this right knee coming back down the way. So we've got to top of the back swing. Left knee moves in the way, right? So we want to play, start the down swing with moving this left knee. So as we come back, left knee moves out the way. Lower body comes in the way. You create that X factor stretch. So the bit, the separation between your lower body and your upper body, that's how you create coil or spine rotation it's referred to. Um, so what we need to do is, so we're focused on Left knee moves in the way, try and create that weight going down the right foot. Um, so as we come back down, we want to lead with the lower body. So a lot of golfers who struggle with over the top, they have very static body movement, so they don't use their lower body enough. They don't create a lot of distance. So as they take the club back, they create one lever. But as they, so if they, they overswing because they're trying to hit the ball too hard, so they to hit to they've created two levers. So to hit um, the golf ball, they have to relieve one lever. So that's where you get that cast in action, you get that scoopy shot at the sky with the, the rescue. So what we need to do is get the, the left knee to move in, weight down the right foot. As we start back down, we need to get this left knee back to where it started. So from this position, we need to move out the way. Then from, you, uh, well, people who swing over the top, that eliminate that, because people who swing over the top, start with the shoulders first instead of the lower body. So if we have a bump to the left hand side, to start off with, then our arms are quite far behind our body, so that'll enhance you to transfer your weight correctly and get your arms to work more efficiently. Because you're not going to create as much power with your upper body as you do your lower body from 
from the ground up the way and create that sort of increased club head speed and distance that we all want. But that's basically everything today. So we need to move the, the left leg to create that rotation. And as we come back down, left leg moves out the way and our weight should transfer from the right foot and our left foot correctly. You'll create that X factor. That coil um, is when the lower body is resisting the upper body, then it's the opposite way around. So the upper body takes over, the lower body resists, if you know what I mean. And if you've got any thoughts on the video, let me know. Subscribe to my channel at Jamie Allen Golf or follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Jamie Allen Golf. Thank you.